Welcome back, it's Paul with Expert Investor Tips. Today I got a real good one for you. How to use the 10% rule when choosing new tenants for your investment property. So there is a rule of thumb and we call it the 10% rule. And this, this more relates to uh, your tenants over a period of a number of years, okay? 10% of your tenants over a period of a year or five years or 10 years are gonna be awesome. They're gonna be people you wanna invite over for dinner, uh, they're going to be people you want to hang out with. They're going to be, you're probably going to make friends with them and you're going to be sad when they leave. You're going to be happy when they're there. You're going to be sad when they leave. They're going to be great tenants. And 10% of your tenants are going to be the complete opposite. And I, I know it kind of um, kind of sucks to say that, but un unfortunately, no matter how good of a landlord you are or how good of a tenant you, you think you are, sometimes landlords and tenants just don't get along for whatever reason. And it could be a number of reasons. I'm not saying it's a tenant's fault. I'm, saying, I'm not saying it's a landlord's fault, but... It's gonna to be tough sometimes, and there's gonna be some friction in that relationship. So you have to assume that 10% of your tenants, as an investor, as a landlord, you're not gonna get along with well, they may not pay the rent, or may, you may have issues. And the other 80% are gonna fall somewhere in the middle, and you're just gonna be just fine. So my rule of thumb is, I really like to get to know the people that I'm, I'm placing in some of my properties, because I wanna avoid that bottom 10% as much as possible. I want to make sure that whoever I'm placing in the properties, I'm jiving with, that they, they meet all the criteria needed, that they can afford the rent, and a number of other criteria that's necessary. And we're going to talk about how to filter them in another video, but I want to uh, make sure you know this kind of rule of thumb. And I might get some hate mail about this, but you know what? It, it, it's just, it's really, it's, it is the reality of the situation, that as an investor and as a landlord, you want to avoid that bottom 10% of people. It doesn't matter. It, it, don't fill a property fast just to get it done because you're going to run into the trouble. Take your time to filter, to do it properly, and you'll avoid so many problems in the future. This is Paul with Expert Investor Tips. Talk to you soon.